Hey everybody, uh, end of June, Scott here, editing. Uh, if you listen to our previous podcast, you'll remember that I said I was going to break uh, the two and a half hour long podcast sort of thing we did to two parts. Um, part of that is to make it a little bit more manageable, bite-sized pieces. I mean, two and a half hours is kind of intimidating. But part of it too, uh, our recording bot we used... Uh, kind of flubbed up and uh it kind of didn't flow together even when you edit it you could tell that there was a hard cut so um yeah anyway this podcast is basically all about the nintendo presentation we talk about you know all the upcoming stuff that they announced and what we were excited about and i'm pretty sure there were a few tangents sprinkled throughout here so it was fun to talk about this stuff, and hopefully it's fun to listen to us talk about it. So, uh, without further ado, I'll let you join into the podcast. Hi, uh, hey, Richard, why don't you, let's, uh, let's walk through the Nintendo Direct, you guys. Yeah, sounds hey, good. Uh, the Nintendo Direct, um, our savior of E3, they began with, honestly... Ganon being walked towards an edge cliff, cliff edge, and we come to find out that Kazuya from Tekken joins Smash as the new uh, lunch pack fighter. And, uh, and basically, he asserts his dominance and drops all the other characters off the cliff. First, he uh, dropped Captain Falcon to signify that Captain Falcon is not getting movies. a new game. I don't think that's what they did on purpose. But, I mean... It was Gandorf, then Falcon, then Pit, then well, Min then, Min, then well, Marth. Well then, well then, Jesse, your theory is wrong. Because that means he, he threw... That Calamity Ganon coming. Yeah, yeah. They're making a Breath of the Wild sequel. So your theory is null and void. F-Zero was reaching. Zombie Falcon. Um, also, I, one thing I want to say about this this one... I, I felt like such a dork after I said it, because I literally said this out loud. Oh, they're starting with Breath of the Wild. Cool. Because it was Ganondorf. <laughs> I was, they tricked me. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was like, wait, Ganon? But that looks like Twilight Princess updated Ocarina's Ganon, so this isn't Breath of the Wild. That's, I, oh, okay. that's how Breath it, of the Wild yeah. opened up with Link. Just throwing Ganon. Well, no, I mean, or, like, you know? like it, it kind of, like, it made sense in my head a little bit because, like, Breath of the Wild two, the the original trailer, did have like Ganon's corpse, you know. Hmm. So, I was, so I was like, oh, well, oh, he looks, he looks like the Ocarina of Time. I, don't, I mean, but you never really see him, so okay, that makes sense. And then, and then, yeah, then I was like, I am dumb. This is Smash Brothers. I just want to throw that funny story in there. Very good. Can, can, let's can, uh, so, mm-hmm. uh, oh, I guess what what are you guys thoughts on Kazuka? Um, doesn't look like a character I'm gonna play as a lot. I do have Tekken Seven on PS4, and I do enjoy it. But I want to watch his presentation to see how Sakurai makes him playable. I think. Um, he he's okay. I think I like. I like Min Min, I like Pyra and Mithra, and I like Sephiroth. But I do feel like there is a lot less hype around Our, this fighter pass compared to the first one. Or and one one thing I did kind of see, like, because I, I quick went over to or or I like I pulled up my phone and then looked at the chat. I think. Just to see kind of people's general consensus with you know the reveal, and it didn't seem like there were a lot of people who were like, "Yeah, so cool! Oh man, I love him!" It's kind of like, um, like I think the problem the problem is uh, there the 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 reason that it's not nearly as hype is because he's like he's like a karate like he basically looks like a karate guy, and we already got. Uh, Ryu and Ken, and then also Terry. Like Terry is very similar too. Like they're 
they're all like guys who punch and kick, and this guy is like no I, different. <clears throat> I'm except for he has like that. For Tekken fans, I'm excited for you. Um, like I'm sure there's somebody out here who's hyped. Like there's somebody out there who's like, yeah, Tekken. Like into that. Kuma. See, if I want anybody from Tekken, I wish it was the bear. If it was Kuma, I would have like lost my mind. If they said Kuma, it's the competition. Beware their surroundings. Like I, I would have lost my mind if it if it was Kuma with like the uh, panda no, wait, skin. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, Kuma. It's Kuma, and then it's uh, bear. Her. Darn it. I literally Kuma had bears it. his fangs. Okay, dog, yeah. I had a better one, but I completely lost it, so. Couldn't, uh, yeah. I just, he, it was so, he's not, he doesn't seem, he, he doesn't have anything that really makes him stand out minus the, like, demon, demon form. Also, we just lost Jesse. Oh. Um. Say. Snake. 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 Snake! Oh, now he's muted. Am, am I back? Discord yeah. force muted me. Uh, back. You, that's because that's because you were too busy. I was making bear puns. Oh, okay. That was... all I, I said. Kuma bears. His fangs. Yes, yes. I brought up Kuma, and we went into the bear puns. Because Banjo didn't make any bear puns. It was Banjo Kazooie makes a rare appearance. Well, I mean, oh. that's that's a that's a pun all of itself. That's all that's right. like a good one. But yeah, I I personally would have loved Kuma. A lot of people are saying that they wish that a lot of people wanted Nightmare or Siegfried with a Nightmare skin uh, uh, to be uh, in Smash. Uh, Okay. Another I mean, sword I, person. I, Yay! I think I think Ivy Ivy is out of the question. Is Voldo. Voldo. Oh, Voldo would have been cool. Voldo, no. Smash is for good boys and girls. I don't think Voldo would be. <laughs> I don't uh, think Voldo would be uh, allowed. Uh, 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 you want to re? You want to rephrase that, sir? Because uh, I'm pretty like. If it's only for good boys and girls, how come Ganondorf, Bowser, uh, and many other villains? Oh, King DDD, he's he's got a bad streak. King DDD isn't um, even a villain. Uh, Ken, Ken is evil incarnate. I don't like Ken. I've always liked hey, Ken has a very important place in gaming history. Uh, Daisy, if you get Daisy his, period. if you get what? Ken's ending, good ending in Street Fighter Three, uh, his son punches him in the balls. That, that's that's Ken's ending in Street Fighter that's Three. Ken's lot in life. <laughs> yes, um, because it's like Ryu went back to the dojo, and Ken went back home to his wife and son. And then it's like, oh, fighting runs in the family, and Ken's son just straight like the like the kid in My Hero Academia does to Deku like in season three, just straight punch. Straight there. It, it is amazing <laughs> that that's Ken's ending screen. His son just punching him straight in the nuts. It just makes me sad. I don't want Soul Calibur rep. Um, and that's that's part of the reason why I think it, if if it was Yoshimitsu from Tekken, you could then have alternate skins. Like based off of, or, or you could have one skin for Tekken, one skin for Soul Calibur, and bam, you got double representation of a good boy. Yoshimitsu is one of my mains in Soul Calibur because there's no way Ivy would pass. Some it, people want Cervantes. That I would be okay with too. He's he's pretty he's oh or, isn't he undead yeah. pirate? Helix would be cool. Oh wait! Oh, oh wait! I was thinking for whatever. What about I Maxi? Was thinking, I was thinking Raphael. What about Maxi? No, I don't like Maxi. He's a bad boy. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so okay, Tekken. 
we got Richard, are you going to be playing as this character? Or are you going to be testing him out? Uh, if Random pulls him, test him out a, a little bit, though. I, I I always I always try the character out to get a feel for him before kind of or, or like hey. the ones I'm not interested in. And the irony too is that's how I discovered that I love suffer off the minute that you have a four player match. And I can just stand near the side. Hey, all of you just hit on each other. Charge my standard B. Give you Giga, this Giga Flare. Give you this pair. You worded that very that you worded that very uh, poorly because you said hitting on. So all I think is <laughs> like, like Sephiroth standing in the corner as Mario is flirting with Peach, and Peach is flirting with Captain Falcon. Or hitting on. Meanwhile, Sephiroth is just it. charging a giant kick. <laughs> In the corner. Hey, hey, Sephiroth only has eyes for one person, and that's Cloud. We'll follow Cloud to the ends of the earth. I don't know. It's the only, the only person, or Kingdom Hearts, or the only person Edmund that Sephiroth children. pierced with his sword though was um, uh, what's her face? So Aerith. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm pretty sure you got that wrong. Yeah, dude. because she was getting in the way. He saw that Cloud was no, romancing no, Aerith. Oh so no, he's my like, gosh, don't, don't bend the facts. Don't <laughs> he, twist them. No, no, R R Jesse, he, he he pierced her with his sword. No. Oh, no sensual. You get out no, of here with yeah, that. You get that out of here. Window, window. By the way, Fall, you know that was, you know what really pierced him. Did you just call me Fall? No. <laughs> yeah, you nah. did. You, you forgot that my name is not Fall. Wow. <laughs> a final fancy <laughs> enough. And yeah. All right. That just happened. Oh, crap. I don't Welcome know. back. I don't know but Scott, Scott, I, you I, know I, what pierced him? That's fine. The blade oh. from his gilder oh, um, pierced his body. It's going to be in Fighter Pass th th 2, number 5. I'm hoping it's for. I'm hoping. My guess is, is it's going to be Crash Bandicoot, but I'm hoping for Shot Day. I I think Crash has made enough of a comeback lately that he would fit well into Smash. Hey, if this guy, or if if Tekken guy, who I know nothing about, can make it into Smash, that means that Doom. We got. We should get Doom guy. No, Wait. no. Doom guy. We got to Doom guy would not his... fit into Smash in the slightest. I mean, Isabel's there. They would be best friends. There's a demon. Don't encourage Dude, this. There's a okay. This is a this is a video game series now, or, or like Smash Brothers now has a character who is a regular fighting man who turns into a demon monster and attacks. Um, you also have. So you're saying he shows up in the trailer you, you and then have... you just hear rip and tear, you and have... then Doom guy like you have you have a. You also have uh, this game also has. A potted plant as a playable character. I'm pretty sure anything is not off limits. And also, we got we got Pac-Man, one of arcade, one of one of video games oldest. Um, he's he he got that senior discount. He got mm, Super Mario. Uh, I, I saw an that image guy, of Mickey that. that you got the... the Sonic the Hedgehog. You got um, Duck Hunt Dog. I saw. Get um, Doom Guy. I saw a thing where it was like, dang it, Namco for making this image relevant again. And it was Street Fighter Cross Tekken, where it was Kazuya and Mega Man versus Ryu and Pac Man. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it just oh. happened. That did. Yep. <laughs> I, you, know, you, know which, uh, you know a character that nobody talks about, but I would love to have show up? And it would just. Oh, Luigi. Tails. I want Tails. Not just me costumes, but legit tails. Yeah, I want tails. I'm I'm rooting for Shantae. Or Shadow. Shadow would be cool. I'm yeah. I'm rooting for Shantae, Ooh, but Shadow I have a gut neat. feeling it is going to be Crash Bandicoot. I don't want no, it to be no, Crash. No Crash. I don't I don't I my 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 relationship. Crash would just fit into Smash so well. You could mash A and he could do his spin attack and hit people multiple times. You Dude, could do his belly flop for 
for okay. moves. A crash, crash. Uh, okay, like, just sounds like a center R to me. We already have that character. It, when I, when I think when I think of crash, I think of like the most boring move set. But you know who who would be better? Um, is Spyro. Spyro would be so much better. Like I can wait a minute. All three of us sets. are passing out on the most important character to be in Smash. Uh, okay. Where's the, what joke? Where's this joke going now? Who's the train conductor guy? Alphonse. Yes. 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 Oh, no. Mario and I... Sonic are fighting, and then a train just runs them over. Blood splatters all over is the it... screen. Alphonse steps it... off of the train. Isn't it kind of sad that I, could, I I immediately knew that this wasn't going to be a serious, like, Hey, guys, we forgot. What about Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank? No, it, it, it was a meme. There was a meme incoming, and I saw it coming on that train. <laughs> and Alphonse That's... was driving it. There oh, we go. You know what? I, I want Sly Cooper now. I want Sly Cooper and Smash. Ooh. Oh no, no! It, it, you have a better chance with Ratchet. Sly is dead. Sly is one hundred. It's gonna be his comeback, baby. It's okay. gonna be his comeback. <laughs> you, you I, the one thing I forgot. To you know what's funny? funny? Hey, wait, I... hey, wait, hey! I, I have the floor here, sir. Because you okay, just, yeah, you have yeah, the floor. Richard Sly Cooper made me forget. I need to quick rant about something involving Microsoft. No new Banjo Kazooie game again. That made me sad. <laughs> there we go. I said it. Okay. okay so now you see that. Oh, Nintendo. also, I have I have an idea for a good trailer. You're fighting. You hear fighting. Uh, and you zoom a joke. out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hear me out. Oh, no, no. You hear? Because Richard made me think about this with Sly Cooper. You zoom out. You see Smash being played on a TV. See a green hand change it and then go, it's tail time. Bam! Gex! Gex! Oh, incredible Hulk, we fooled you again. No! No, it's Gex! He can pogo with his tail, he can uh, punch people. What? Oh, oh, Sly Cooper's gonna be hey, so creative, he just I has see. a stupid cane! Hey. Hey, I, I thought of one better with Gex, who ha who could do a similar move set but be better. Fang the Knack. <laughs> AKA, AKA Fang the Sniper Knack from the, Sonic the Fighters. Or Knack the or Weasel, Knack the Weasel, depending or... on what you're talking about. <laughs> like, this one oh, no. guy, no. this one obscure Sonic character, like, the general population probably doesn't recognize he's, no he's, no although better he yet meaning, you so. see a fishing rod i think it's isabel and then you zoom back and it's big, big if, the cat for what the cat what if, okay big the cat <laughs> with a gun give him a gun this is this is so stupid this, this, give is, big the this cat isn't even gonna be funny but i'm gonna say it anyway you have a trailer like what you were saying it's a fishing rod. You think it's Isabel. It zooms out. It's Isabel 2. It's just Isabel with <laughs> Isabel, a 2. It's Isabel <laughs> from New Horizons. No, no, like with the white shirt. No, no. Uh -uh. It's Isabel. Like, but she's wearing, you know how like in Animal Crossing they have the number shirts? It's just her wearing the shirt with the number 2. <laughs> okay. That was a terrible one. Let's move on with this Nintendo Direct. Let's get directly to the point. Come on. Okay. Hey. Okay. So, so, was... so what, next what, what up, we, we we had a sizzle reel after Smash. Uh, okay, skip the sizzle reel because I remember that nothing. Really we had happened. Life is Strange, but then at the end of the sizzle reel, it said party from parties past, and it was Nick. And we're getting a new Mario Party. Yep, we're getting Mario Party all uh, superstars. Along with a Super Monkey Ball collection. Uh, yep. One thing about the... Let's, let's one... talk about Mario Party real quick. It has five N64 boards. It has mini games from across the series, because I saw Book Squirm up in the corner from Mario Party 4 in the big mural. It has well, they... tons of stuff. It has online play. It has local play. It has friend online play, friends with, with your friends, with your strangers, or not with your strangers. <laughs> Life is strange. It's a game hey. coming. Oh. Yeah, that... I... 
I've watched I've watched some review I've watched a review of Life is Strange and it does not interest me and I don't think I'd like the characters. But um that's besides the point. Uh Get to the party. The party there's there's one key feature from those Mario parties that they mentioned that they don't have and it they got they got patched that in cuz online play. No, the fact that uh the, the especially the space board none of them were wearing space costumes. Why can't they bring back the Mario You want party them to team? have the costumes. I want them to wear the costumes. That was such a cool little the feature in I the think game. the reason why they aren't is because they're using boards. They're lazy because they're just because they're used. It's just it's Super Mario. Well, Party they didn't wear costumes in the first one or the third one. Two is the only one that has costumes. Know, but that was such a cool feature, and it makes me sad. And also, I, I the reason I say they're lazy is because it's like this is just they're using the exact same like models and stuff from Super Mario Party. So it's just this is Super Mario Party Two. With new games and new maps that are actually not new maps, but they are old maps. But we will call them new because they look new. They're in HD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Super Mario Party, now that it has online, is kind of like a cool added bonus. This is this is definitely a feature that they should have added way sooner than now. I'm, I'm I'm wondering if because remember when Super Mario Party came out. Wait, uh, uh, dude, uh, that, that, again, that, Super Mario Party is kind of weird, because, like, it's fun, it, or, no, no, it's, it's weird in the, in the sense, like, it came out, and then, like, two years later, or, or a year, right, I don't, I don't remember what year, yeah, it took, like, year, it, it was, two like, years. two years later, yeah, yeah, they, they, they released that, pa- uh, that update, like, a few months ago, like, adding some features that people wanted like two years later it's like whoa whoa what definitely came out of left field and 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 so i'm wondering if maybe this time around because because one of the things a lot of us and a lot of reviewers and i remember we talked about it ourselves um with super mario party we were like oh i wonder if like you know i wonder if they'll add like dlc like if they'll add more boards and more games and stuff I'm wondering if maybe this time around they do that. I don't want like they say, add DLC to this game. Yeah, I don't want to necessarily like. I don't want to be like hey, it's I just gonna happen, you know, because it didn't happen the last time we talked about it. But this yeah. this this one almost kind of feels it, it. It's giving me vibes a little bit of Star Wars Battlefront versus Star Wars Battlefront Two. And I'm talking about the the remake ones from like a few years back, not the originals, where mm-hmm. uh like the first one was kind of like very basic. I mean, like it, it was okay. Here, here, here's all the stuff, and that's it. Yeah, well, maybe we'll add some DLC, but you know, we don't have a story mode, and like you're stuck playing like these few modes. And then Star Wars Battlefront Two was like. Hey, we have the same engine, and it's basically the previous game, but we got more content. We got story mode. We got this. We're also going to add a bunch of free updates and, you know, tweak things and, you know, adjust things to make this, like, a decent experience. And so I'm wondering if uh, Super Mario Party will be kind of, or this new one will kind of be similar, where it's like, okay, now that we kind of, the first one was a little bit more of, like, a tech demo, where it's like, okay... Or, or no, not a tech demo, but like, like a prototype where it's like, okay, well, you know, yeah. see, see if you guys like this and if this engine runs well, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I hope so. I'm, I'm just excited for, for this Mario Party. It looks very promising. I like the online feature and stuff that was added. It, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. I, but I think there's one game that also was mentioned that I think a uh, certain Richard might be a little hyped for, because uh, he he's brought it up a few times. Are you hyped about Monkey Ball? I'm yeah, hyped. hyped about Monkey Ball. I'm hyped too. It's it, so I looked into it because they showed a whole history, so people are like, "Oh my gosh, how many games are in here?" It's just one, two, and deluxe. Or yeah, I mean, like they. It's like um, nine games in there. 
Or, yeah, like, they the, showed a bunch in the history, and people were like, "Is Banana Blitz HD in this?" Is it like? All right. Well, so I'm um, because um, I I don't know how people um I don't know how people are confused though, because um. Oh no, I'm talking about initial confusion. Or but no, I mean like but when it came out, or because because they show like they like. Uh, in fact, in the on Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania announcement trailer on the Nintendo YouTube channel at 42 seconds in, it shows which games are in it. It's Super Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball 2, and Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. So I don't know how people could be confused. Yeah. Also, Richard, the Reunion Kenshin uh, live-action Japanese movie has hit Netflix, apparently. So. Oh, okay. What is that? Samurai. Uh, re, 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 re. Gun and Kenshin. Yeah, Ru, Rooney Kenshin. Never heard of them. It's a, it's a samurai anime, anime about uh, a samurai during the Tokugawa era, if I remember correctly, who was this badass elite samurai, but he did a lot of evil deeds, and he's trying to Ooh. make up for everything by being this wholesome boy taking down okay i, I kind of need to watch this now Dude. the only um the oh, only yeah. samurai that i know of is thanks to scott and that is this really cool that really cool samurai guy in in loop on the third the first because okay. i he he was cool he's the only samurai that i recognize uh, anyway uh, so we were talking about Mario Party, but after uh, that, uh, uh, here uh, I'm gonna put it in chatting. Oh uh, wait, uh, no, that's I did the wrong thing. It's, it's like, cause, cause I think if once you once you see him, you'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen him before. Cause I mean, okay. it's, a, it's a popular anime. Yeah, it's in chatting, which is now in voice, okay. which is right above Craig Zone in ideas. Mm -hmm. In general. Oh, okay. I have seen that character. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I just know, I know Richard's a big fan of that series. So when I saw that, I just had to say that. Anyway, that's, not, that's not Nintendo Direct. Back so to after team. Mario Party, any any final thoughts on Mario Party from either of you? I don't really got much to say about Mario Party or Monkey Ball, just that I'm going to play it. Probably. I'm going to play it. Um, what? Are you going to play the Dreamcast? Also, if you pre-download it, you get, like, their classic, like, GameCube Polygon skins. Apparently, yeah, like, there's different perks depending on what version you, you get. Just wanted to say that. I'm a digital gamer, so I'll probably have to look at me digitally. Which means you'll get the Dreamcast and Game Gear skin. What about Tales of Sonic? I'm pretty sure they're going to be in no matter what. Probably is, like, an unlockable or something. You probably have to beat one of the games or something. Okay. So what? What else? What was next? I'm I'm excited for both of them. I will get both. No, I, no but I mean, what was What was after? What was game? next in the direct? Well, it was well, Metroid. Before, oh, before that, um, was uh, Astria ascending, and it's a game I'm interested in, in looking at because it's like fully painted. It's another RPG, but I just want to. Put that plug in, but Metroid Dread! A Looks game like... that is like 10 plus years in the making. Metroid that, Dread. That was pretty dope. Taking place directly after Fusion, the Galactic Federation wants Samus dead, and they sent a robot named Emmy. And you can get an amiibo of them, which Samus adds in Energy Tank. And Emmy adds a missile pack. That's awesome. interesting to me. I still have to watch a lot of the new stuff, but the Federation sent it after Samus. Okay, uh, yeah, because they didn't twist. like her at the end of Fusion. Or yeah, it, like oh, so uh, I know because the the ex site research was yeah of the Federation and Parasite took over, gave us the SAX, and she had demolished the whole Federation base to basically save everything else. Or yeah, cause, cause, or cause, like I, I, I was playing Fusion a few days ago, 
and was at the part where like I, I beat um like Ridley and then like Yeah, Ridley they, is a mainstay. And then they wanna never get um, rid of Ridley. And so like see much a Kraid besides in the original, but yeah, Ridley is a hey, mainstay he's, throughout he's the supposed, series. He was supposed to be in Prime One. Kraid or Kraid was but they took him out because I don't know. That's why he's in the melee stage. Um but the uh in Fusion she uh like after you beat Ridley and make your way out of like that area, um you you have to go to the navigation room and then like Adam is like or the Adam program is like, Yeah, um the Federation wants you to stay put. Like, yeah, you're to stay in this room. Um because they, right. they want, because because it's it's just like the aliens movie where it's like, yeah, the company, uh, or and in this case, the Federation uh, wants to. Even though Samus is a big asset to them, she knows too much about their secret deeds, and it's gotta yeah, be. And, and, and they want to, you know, they want to use the Metroids uh, or the, in this case, the X. They want to weaponize uh, the yeah. SAX. Okay. So, um, and and also, but from what I've heard, talking to one of my other friends. Um, who's like probably like he's the biggest Metroid person I know. Um, but he he mentioned that he heard there because like I think he watched the Clubhouse th- thing. I did as um, well. Uh, Adam, uh, like the Adam program from Fusion apparently is back, so that's kind of yes. Um, they show they didn't show him in or yeah Clubhouse, they but they mentioned in. his name in Treehouse. Yeah. Yeah, they, they yeah. couldn't. They couldn't. Sh- they like they they avoided like story cutscenes, or at least the part that I the bits I watched, um, or 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 like a really plot important scenes, um, I think with like exposition. Yeah, I'm, I'm so. Uh, yeah. But um, but then um, they also mentioned that the X aren't entirely destroyed so that makes me wonder if uh not only having this robot threat but if somehow the x will play a part in this too at some point uh it's possible because he he also said that it seems like metroid dread is taking some inspiration from um some of the 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 original plot of Metroid Prime 2. Because in that one, you go to, like, a, a base or someplace where there's a, like, malfunctioning AI that is, like, hunting you down. And as you progress and, love, or, or you know, and get new equipment and weapons and stuff, um, the robot would become more and more, like... It would it would create countermeasures to counter you know your new technology and and it seems like in some ways this is kind of going for a similar idea. That's interesting. Yeah, I am two is the other one in the series that I haven't been all the way through or even started. So that's good information to know. Uh, so or, also, well, no, I mean, like, it, and this was this was the scrapped like story. Uh, Prime. The actual Prime Two has a much different story. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Following uh, the the Dark Samus. Yeah. Anyway, so first kind of off, the... before we dive in, they did okay. also confirm that they are working hard on Metroid Prime Four. They acknowledged it. Yeah. yeah. Which is good. And then they're like, "By the way, here you go. It has that version. It has a special edition, which has a steel book and an art book and stuff like that." And, um, so that's really nice. And then a two-pack of Amiibo. Personally, I'm hyped. I had a feeling of, literally, not to be a play on words, but I had a feeling of dread watching this. And not, like, bad. But, like, the same feeling when Emmy is chasing Samus totally reminded me of the mini panic attacks I had running away from the SAX Literally. being in the same room yeah, as the they, SAX. Like they are definitely going for that feel. Like where it's like, hey, here's an enemy that you can't kill. 
It's going to hunt you down. Here's something that's interesting that they said during the treehouse. They said this is going to be wrapping up the story. This is going to be the conclusion. Uh, uh, no, uh, like it's uh, they they said that it's going to be wrapping up this this like stage in her um like like basically this one is going to be the uh like like if if the Metroid series was a was a movie um this would be like the Skywalker trilogy or or, or not. Yeah, I mean, really, the, it would be it would be like considered the Skywalker trilogy, where it's like, okay, here's kind of the end of this story, and you know, stuff after that will be unconnected. Like, like I think really, it's this is gonna kind of wrap up some loose loose ends and story beats from previous games, so that then the next game will be kind of. It'll be its own thing, kind of a yeah. little bit more disconnected. And they said that they have more plans for Metroid besides this and Prime 4. They It, it, it makes me wonder, too, though, like, it, it, like, if this is the end of the, you know, kind of this story, does that mean Metroid Prime 4 is going to be post this game? No, 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 no. because uh, it's Prime, part of the Prime is always series, fixed. which is already before the original Metroid. Or, uh, uh, like... But I mean, just because it's it's Metroid Prime though doesn't necessarily mean that it had like Metroid Prime Four chronologically doesn't have to. I mean, like it most likely will. But you know, like but it there's doesn't... also the the rumors about <laughs> Samus's brother. At least people have been kind of looking into. But well, one of one of my favorite things about Metroid Dread is the fact that this has been hinted at since Metroid Prime Three. Um, like, and it was, or it, it it has been in development and canceled twice, starting in two thousand six. So it's been like they they because in um Prime Three, it says experiment status report update. Met- Actually, is this even? Is this from? Is he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. It's from Metroid Prime Three. Experiment status report update. Metroid Project Dread is nearing the final stages of completion. So you know, even even back in Metroid Prime Three, they were like, "Hey guys, we got this game called Metroid Dread." It's it was out. going to be for the DS. Yeah. Then we got Prime Hunters, which is a piece of garbage. Uh, well, it's not the favorite, but it came with the okay, PS, and it, it's and okay. There, it's just the control have the bounty scheme hunter hasn't that, aged well. Um, the bounty hunter, and that one of them, I forget which, is supposedly Samus's brother. Based on then, from oh, hey, actually, I remember from the Prime Four teaser, all this information is coming out out about it. So let's right, not right. forget most important Metroid game, Metroid Other M. Let's let's not forget the baby, everyone. Uh, it, hey, the uh, baby. Well, uh, hey, uh, I so, think it establishes uh, the relationship between her and Adam more um, before going into infusion. So Adam won't give you clearance to use that move. Okay. So okay, it's part of a military or so protocol, and you can't just go and use a Moab when you can use a. Yeah, but he for also doesn't negotiation. give her clearance to wear her lava proof armor until you're in the middle of the lava area. It's like, thank you, so, Adam. Can I not fry to death anymore? Thank you. On way to park out into the beach. Can I, can I, can I quick... Okay, there is some flaws in the story mechanic of it, but it... they have to have some basis of you gaining your powers over again. And. Uh, yeah, I don't think the authorization thing is out of the like. I think really Metroid Other M's biggest problem is its story overall, and really when it comes to story, it's more the presentation. Some of the, like they should have kind of. Oh, the to... first person mode or... scans that was so stupid. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about the like, like the voice acting, like the the. Biggest problem is like some of the voice acting. Samus's voice actress, no offense to her, uh, 
was not a very good, accurate, and engaging voice for Samus. She sounded very bored. Even rewatching a cut, like a few cutscenes the other day, I am like, I do. It rubs me a little bit wrong, but also uh, correction uh, or, or clarification. Um, so one of the developers, Sakamoto, clarified. Dread would not be the final game of the Metroid series. And what he meant was that the game would resolve the connection between Samus and the Metroids while introducing new storylines for future titles. He is, he no, said, he is, he appreciate he said, that. Another game is waiting in the works, and we want you to look forward with what we do with that next. But there are no specifics now. He also told a Eurogamer that the ending of Dread will offer an idea of Samus's next adventure. So that that's interesting and cool because I know for the longest time with Super Metroid essentially being the annihilation of the Metroids and them doing a fusion, like, how are they going to continue on the story given like the name of the series is Metroid, not Samus? Oh, so you got to have the little creatures of the suckers that want to drain your energy somehow in the story, at least some basis to go along with them. Yeah, I'm 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 excited. I'm gonna be replaying some of the 2D Metroids in my free time to get hyped up for this, namely Zero Mission, Return of Samus, Fusion, Super. You're just like listing the entire series. You might as well just start from the beginning. But, the, but well, he's not doing the primes, he's not doing three D. I'm not doing Prime. Prime, prime doesn't apply to this. Prime Prime is still the best Metroid in my opinion. First one? The first Prime? Yeah. Prime Prime 1 is great. Prime 2 I feel like half of the Metroid fan base will still say Super. Prime, the Prime best. 2 is is mid and then Prime 3 picks back up again. At least in my I opinion. would say my favorite Metroid game is Fusion. <laughs> no, really really like the the Metroid series has a very consistent track record. The the only one that like is is a blemish on the franchise and and I I use that loosely uh, is is other M and and that's because it has a little bit more baggage and and like again if if it I think people would be a little less like ah uh, if the story was a little bit better. <laughs> Or if the story was better and some of the elements were cut out and some of them were expanded upon. Um, and then some of the, yeah. But, like, really, Other M, the game itself is not nearly, like, it's 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 a decent Metroid game. It's, it's definitely not super and it's definitely not, like, fusion and stuff. Even Samus, like Samus Returns, is great. I've been playing that. Like the, and, pro- the it, problem, and on Metacritic, it has a seventy-nine percent. So, yeah, still, like, still has rating. It's not like it completely bombed. And it's there just, are some, el- there issues. are some elements from other end that are carrying over into this. Like she is clearly doing other M style finishers to some of those enemies. Like from what I saw in the treehouse. Well, I mean, they're really, um. Samus Returns does the like literally does the same thing. Like some of the yeah, because uh the the Metroid or really the boss fights in general when you counter them, uh, you do a lot of show stopping shenanigans and it's awesome. Yeah, we're all hyped for Metroid. We're all gonna be getting it day one. So October is it, Octo- is... Is it October yet? Oh, unfortunately. So October has three games to claim our money. Monkey Ball, Mario Party, and Metroid. Uh, what was it? What, what other, you mentioned another game that was coming out in October. That you... oh, those three. Oh, yeah, Guardians. Guardians is coming out at the end of October. And that's a big maybe. Uh, and, and really, Guardians it, is a big maybe. Guardians hasn't sold me. Like, uh, it's, it's impressed the, uh, me, but it... It hasn't and sold me. The 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 new Mario Party game is kind of similar for me, where it's like, I'll probably get it, but it's not a 
day one. I need this now purchase. Uh, I'm buying it day one so you can play mine. You can play it with me. Or, I mean, like, I'm, I plan on getting it. Okay. okay. But anyway, and then, yeah, so. Yeah, so like, moving on. What other. I mean, really, so we got I, I, cruise in. Oh. We got a we got a sizzle reel. Air, I think air. Well, let's let's abridge the direct to the two more interesting topics. Uh, one being warrior wear is back, and the other being that whole Zelda thing. And uh, there's one more in the middle. I would forget like about to Advance discuss. Wars because uh, Jesse's very right, hyped for right. that. I did. I'm trying to bridge things. We've been we've been yammering on for a while. Okay. So there was some sizzle reels. There was cruising. There was worms. Actually, I, don't, there... I think I think in retro, uh, ba- no, we 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 ain't talking about the the a word. We ain't using that here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. But no, we aren't. Let's go on. No, Warrior no, wear. No, no, Warrior no, wear no. looks great. Warrior wear looks fun. Um, it has a very different mechanic because you go into the micro games and you have different abilities based on who you play as and yeah like i don't know if i like that myself but discuss um i'm down it has multiplayer it has up to four player multiplayer um i think it looks cute uh I'm, it look it looks good uh the presentation reminds me of warrior wear gold which i've been on the hunt for for a little while Trying to find Warrior Wear Gold on 3DS. Um, the writing and the performance and that was pretty good. Uh, what about you, Richard? What are your takes on on Warrior Wear? Because the translator or the person doing the presentation made sure to do it like that. He went Warrior Wear. Why? Um, Wario. Where's it's a fun antics party game. Don't know what I'm getting myself into, but wow, gonna be a fun thing to try and partake in with friends. Ah. Hey Je- Jesse, you said that you've been looking for Warrior Wear Gold. Why don't you just download it? Ah. Apparently, you can download it. Wow, wow, it's gonna be Wario and be a Rebel. Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna win. There we go. Uh, what are your thoughts on Warrior Wear? Uh, do you want to talk about Advance Wars now? Hi, diabolical. I should probably explain to the audience what's happening right now. Uh, currently, uh, I have Jesse muted, so. He may be able to hear my voice, but that means he cannot talk. Isn't that right, Jesse? Wah! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you too. Um, yes, so, here, okay, Warrior Wear. I don't, I, what is there to say about Warrior Wear? I mean, like, it's Warrior Wear. It, they tend to be kind of fun, wacky adventures. I don't think I've ever owned a Warrior Wear. I've always played it at other people's houses, but I'm up for it. For fun antics. Yeah, I'm I'm on board. This is this game is kind of bundled with monster. Monster what? This this game is kind of bundled with Monster Hunter stories, where it is um one that I'm going to be waiting for for Christmas to pick up, like kind of later in the year. That one, that Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, that one, Guardians of the Galaxy, WarioWare, because I can't pick up everything A1, so that that one's probably going to be a wait till later on to, uh, to pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to bring you back Advance Wars, uh... One and two. <clears throat> First two. <clears throat> way forward... First of all, has been confirmed to work on this. And, okay, so I, small plug, have a solo podcast at solopodcast.com. I'm not going to say where. Anyway, 
So anyway, I did a pre. <laughs> Why did you pre- plug it and then immediately? <laughs> I can't tell you where, and must, I'm not going to. He whetted their appetite, so if they're interested, they'll go seek it out. Yes. But anyway, um, anyway, um, so on that, here's the funny coincidence. On that, I did a pre-3, like, what I want. And there were tons of stuff, I guess, that I didn't get. Like I said, Nintendo should make an N64 Classic Edition. I said that Capcom should put a bundle of their Disney Super Nintendo games, like their Disney Afternoon Collection, but with like Mickey's Magical Quest and stuff like that. And I went down the list, and I and then for Mega Man, I was like, oh, they should make a Legends Collection with Legends One and Two and Tron Bon in a collection for thirty dollars. Mm-hmm. You get that? Yeah. So anyway, oh no, you weren't in the void. I could hear you. Oh well, I couldn't hear anything. But, yeah. Okay, so I I went down the list of all my predictions, and at the end of that podcast episode, I said, "Ha ha!" As much as I would love a new Advance Wars, I know I'm not going to get it. Uh, so well, I love. Technically, you're wrong. It's it's a it's a remake of them. So you did not but, actually get a new one. And it's by but, way forward instead of intelligence systems this time around. And first of all, the animations look incredible. The character portraits, which they do. I watched this in the treehouse. The character portraits, like they move and they like do poses when they do their special moves. It looks great. We are getting the first game and the second game. I am beyond hyped. I cannot wait. This was a pleasant surprise when it launched. I screamed when they said the orange army when the when they said the orange star army is in danger. It was funny because I was watching a stream and they're like, "Oh, what's this, Kirby?" And I went, "No way!" Because I already knew what the orange star was. I played one. I played two. I played Dual Strike. I played Days of Ruin. I've already been replaying Dual Strike in preps for this. I am really hyped. I I love this series dearly. To see it come back in a new audience with like online and all of the other stuff. I I'm excited. I. It really made me tear up a little bit because I never thought in a million years that this series would come back. I I thought maybe the Switch would get a virtual console and I would get to play the originals that way. But Reboot Camp definitely excited me. And we are getting it December 3rd. I am am pretty, pretty hyped. Pretty, very excited. Either of you two interested in picking this up or... uh, I don't don't know. It's got it pre-ordered. It's a tacticals game. I'll give it a try. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I just found out this. This is this is news to me, and boy, this is news. Uh, they're making a Jackson figure. Um, he's uh, he was the rabbit character from Star Wars comics. Uh, that George Lucas, I guess, like thought was ridiculous. Okay, that's it. Um, I will do do. Yeah, I mm, advanced wars tactical games not always my cup of tea. Yeah. So I with metal, I also, like I said way earlier, technically metal slug I, at the game. Technically, summer. I already have advanced wars one and two anyway on my Nintendo Wii console. I mean, my well, because Nintendo you Wii U. because you bought mine off of me, so yeah, you do have those too. But yeah. With yeah, Metal Slug, some... which I mentioned from Summer Game Fest, which looks great. Mario and Rabbids that I'm really excited for. With all three of these, this was a really good year for Tactics game fans. And yeah, I just have one more men- th- one. There's one thing from the trailer I would like to point out, though. Uh, may I, before we proceed? Yeah, kind of... Where's yours? Where's it? <clears throat> Holy joke. shit, they're bringing back a fan source! Oh my god! It looks so good! Oh my- um, okay, Richard. Right, he kept himself tamed until that moment. Yeah. He is having an episode of uh, too much hype for Advance yeah. Wars. Okay. We're uh, moving on. Okay, Richard, you want to talk about some Zeldas? 
Ooh, Zelda. Oh different. my god! And then the orange <laughs> star army! <laughs> okay, so... Zelda, we got the DLC Wave 1 of Let's move Star on Wars to Age of Calamity. We've got Skyward Sword for the Switch coming out. And then they are working on Breath of the Wild 2. It looks amazing. I don't know what new weapons we're going to get because it looks like Link had some sort of guardian tentacle whip. Also, phasing through solid objects in the sky. What is next? What's coming up? Link I am excited Mario's to go play through there when confirmed. it happens. Okay, I... I know oh, don't forget the game and watch. Don't forget the game and watch. I I know that. I mean, like, I'm gonna get it. It has the black sheep of Adventures of Link on there, so I. Do. <coughs> <laughs> and it, it it has the first one. It has Adventures of Link. It's got Link's Awakening 1998. It's got bonus mini games. What if they uh, did? What if they did that? But the Metroid. What if they if they made a Metroid one? I don't so know they could do I, Metroid I, I and they could do Return it. of Samus I, on I, one. I, I want, I want, I want to buy that because I don't. Surprisingly, I, they no. didn't do Mario One, Two, and Three for one of them, which they could have done. They just did Mario One with a clock for Mario's. I don't know. Like I, I, I the, the 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 phasing through the block that you mentioned, Richard from Zelda. Huh? I know earlier pre this recording, uh. I said, "It's just in the sky." I did. I don't like it. Um, I did actually. I thought that was kind of a cool game, get like element. It's like, oh, kind of. Dude, there's some possibilities with that. That's kind of cool. Although it looks like what a lot of people wanted isn't happening, which a lot of people really wanted playable Zelda. But it looks we've got like... Hyrule Warriors and Age of Calamity. You have playable Zelda in there. This is a mainstay Zelda game. The playable character is Link. If they give you an option of Zelda, it'd be neat. Yeah. It's been Link all the way through. I'm okay with it. And no, no, to play no, a no. Zelda in Wand of Gamelon. No, no. Zelda CDI game. Okay, Every... that does not count. <laughs> okay, you, you is, pick... that the Black Sheep is Adventures of Link. That CDI thing is just straight up barge fire. That uh, doesn't count at all to me. And, and you, you also you forgot about. Uh, you could play a Zelda in um, Spirit Tracks. What? Oh wait, there is that. You oh. go through with the Phantom. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tonight, going through the, yeah. the dungeons. Yeah. You could play Zelda. You there, people are like, hey, we we'll play Zelda. You could play it in Spirit Tracks. Which right, because think, that's you know, because of the multiplayer know. function. I had that for Spirit Tracks. You are correct. Or, no, I mean that was that was also a oh. that was a single player. Like oh okay yeah because yeah, that was part It's of just been a while game. since I played Spirit Tracks that I yeah. I kind of forgot. Be about fair, that. the only thing I'll say about wreck. Spirit Tracks is that it's better than Phantom Hourglass. Oh, that is complete and utter bollocks. I oh, okay, the one thing I will give is that the last time I picked up Phantom Hourglass, I got rid of my shovel and got stuck at the Goron spot and no way to get out. Otherwise, yeah, I still like Phantom Hourglass more because it's still out on the sea. Lineback is a fun character, though. Uh, well, I do you like Lineback? Lineback is in, he's in both games. No, he's not. Yes. He's dead he, in the... No, he's in, in Spirit Tracks. He's like his ancestors there. Yeah, that's what and I'm he saying. Serves, His... He serves the whole the same purpose. He looks like exactly the same. Because all of Zelda it's essentially re is reincarnations. Yeah, you see the same characters in different eras. Oh, Speaking right. of different eras, um, with them going up to the sky in Breath of the Wild too. Last time we've done this that I can still recall is in Twilight Princess when we have talked to the Ukus, uh, um, getting shot out of the cannon and getting the double. Claw oh. shots, R and then also Skyward Sword. You start in the, okay. then go down to land. Was, but yes, Scott. I was I was just gonna say, Richard, you you mentioned the game that is it it meant like you you said Skyward Sword's coming, and and I was gonna say, hey, uh, Skyward Sword, you go into sky too. <laughs> well, that one's reverse. You go to land. You start in the sky. Oh wait, oh yeah, I'm I'm the poo poo head over here. That's... Okay, then <laughs> I, give me I, give I, me I, an equivalent of Groos and uh Girahim in Breath of the Wild too. 
Me, give me a version of Gear of Him that is just as creepy and just as amazing. Also, give me a hand toilet. Gerahem is the sword spirit of Demise's sword, which Demise then becomes Ganon. So over maybe. Time. I think it's I think that's what they kind of imply. Uh, I I have played I have done I think I, I got to the first When was the last time you beat a Zelda game, Scott? Uh Breath of the Wilds, like a year. What about Link Between Worlds? Uh, I never I have oh that, I beat that the Link Between Worlds is all new like I beat that like three or four years ago. Okay, that's important it because it's like that's still the best Zelda game ever made. I, one in Link I, to the Past. I like, no. I like how you're like, what game? Oh. What Zelda games? Ocarina of Time is still my all time favorite. Uh, Majora, uh, okay, Majora here's Time. something I'm surprised. I'm surprised they didn't do a Zelda 3D All Stars uh, with Ocarina, hey. uh, Majora. Yo, and... yo, hey, hey, pull this train back, dude. I, I need. Is this train conducted by Alfonso? Well, no, I'm, I'm, we're bringing it back to, to, look at what Zelda games you beat, Scott. Uh, so, I say, I go, <laughs> I beat Breath of the Wild like a year or two ago. Still then, haven't beat Breath of the Wild. I still have not gone to beat Ganon. Uh, but but then you, you immediately, instead of going to the game before that, you just go, or actually, no, after that. Uh, you just, you immediately go to, like, some, like, 3DS one. Like, why did you go to, like, Between Worlds? Why didn't you say, been Link's Awakening yet, Scott? The remake? Cause did you no, even, I haven't. Did you get the? Yeah, Link's I, I, I bought okay. it. Okay, I bought it, and then something happened though. Cause I swear I was like, I was on like I was six. Did you get screwed oh. over by the claw game? No. You grabbed the shell, no. and the uh, shell fell no, out. I, I played. I played the crap out of the Link's Awakening re remake for a while, and then something happened where my save data got overwritten. So I'm like two temples in when I think or like when I was playing it last time I was like on temple like six or seven or I, I how many are how many temples are there or five or six I don't know I was I was six to seven okay so I was probably on like temple like five then and but now I'm like one or two temples in and so I'm like I'm gonna restart eventually <laughs> but I don't I I haven't been in a Zelda mood. I Zelda's Zelda's one that I have to really be in the mood for, and most of the time I'm not. I mean, I I I like them. I just it's not. Sonic is my franchise, followed very closely by Persona, Banjo Kazooie, other stuff. One thing that I thought we were gonna get this year because it's been a little while, I thought we were gonna get a new Kirby. It has been a while since Kirby. It has been a while since... Because the last Kirby game was the Smash Brothers clone, and then the one before that was um, the free-to-play. So and it's I, technically been three years since Star Allies. And I, 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 don't, I don't count those games as, like, game games. I consider them, like, expansions of mini-games and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't really... Like, I would... I don't count them as proper Kirby games. The only, like... You know, that would be Star Allies, uh, Triple Deluxe, Planet Robobot, like those ones. I, I kind of... Because, cause like, the, the, the ones that they release tend... Like, the ones that you mentioned tend to be, like, really kind of small and compact, kind of. Yeah. But, but, yeah, like, I mean, it... Nintendo's Direct had probably the most diversity... Yeah, I will give them this. At least they are being, they're giving variety. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's probably a better way to say that. Like, it, there's, it wasn't all like, hey, look at this guy. He got gun. But then here's new game. And this guy have gun. But this guy. And when you think about it, they have so such a good lineup for the rest of this year. They have Mario Golf coming in. About a a week. Oh, Alex Kidd comes out in a week too. 
Okay. Goofy shenanigans, you two, with that Alex kid. Oh, man. I, uh, oh, that I, depends when our version comes in. I'm like one of the f- I'm one of the five people that's like, new Alex kid game? Sold. Give me a hundred copies. Sega has been passing off their remakes to all these studios, because now I want to get the Wonder Boy ones. And I heard the newest Wonder Boy one, they, they just dropped a new Wonder Boy remake on top of the other two that came out like the, oh, well, uh, the there's the, the one, cursed kingdom one and then there's one the one that you have scott yeah uh like the the wonder boy uh, asha in the monster world yeah yeah um is that one just as expensive as the other ones uh, Does it are is because I remember the the Curse Kingdom has like a forty dollar price point. This this one's forty bucks. Exclusive Dang. Game well, two. I'm okay waiting. Monster World Four. I I'm okay waiting. I just got Kazai and the Four Masks, which is basically Donkey Kong Country, and that started at forty, but I got it for twenty on the oh, indie sale. Uh, like out of, uh, I mean, just out of the Monster World, the Monster Boy, those ones. This, like, yeah. looking at the few screenshots here on Amazon, this one is probably the one that looks the most like a, a game. Rochambeau. Oh, dude. I, I, I heard really good things about the Cursed Kingdom one. I'm, 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 I'm one of the five people on this planet that's a fan of Alex Kid. I streamed it the other day, so that proves it. Rock, paper, scissors on H boss, which is too much for me. Uh, and, but hey, you play it on the, the Sega Gems coll- or the Sega Collection on Steam slash the Nintendo Switch slash uh, PS4. PS4. One. Um, you have the rewind time, so it makes it real nice. Also, Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom is one hundred and eighty nine ninety nine on Amazon. Sheesh. Well, for the original, uh, sixty four ninety nine with free shipping from other places though. Uh, Remake though is the way to go. No, no, this Monster Bo- Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom for Nintendo Switch is oh one hundred and eighty nine. Well, that's probably because they have limited versions of the physical release. Uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's forty dollars to download it. Yeah. Why would anybody spend that much money on games you can pay? Why pay? would you pre-order the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Collector's Edition, which isn't shipping until quarter four of twenty twenty one? If that, ha 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 ha. Uh, are you saying that you did? Or poor Jesse. I did that. You did that. You did that for a game that most people like. Most people overhype uh, immensely. I will say that River City Girls is a better beat 'em up. So when they announce the River City Girls Two Deluxe Edition, I will be picking that up. Because Let Me Run Games is like we're restocking River City Girls One de- Collector's Edition. It's like I could go for a third copy of that game. Um, yeah, I, I could always buy more Sonic 1. Oh, wait, I will in a few, and like, next year, I will buy Sonic so, 1. Don't forget and, Sonic 2! Don't forget Sonic 2! Well, I have more, I, I have the same amount of copies of both. Because most things I have tend to be in combination with both Sonic games. Yeah. But, but yeah. anyway... I think I think we've we I mean we're talking about Sonic we're talking about Monster okay, Boy so, on Amazon. So so now overall E3 there were some good games announced. I'm I'm hey, hyped. Hey, hey okay, hey, we'll we'll end it with this. Uh all three of us give give kind of a out of 10. This E3 this year out of 10, what would you say? I'd say a 7 out of 10. I think I'd say six out of ten. 
All I was expecting was Breath of the Wild 2 updates and something about Metroid, and I got both of them. Some extra goodies. I, I I'm meant, saying 9 out of 10. Or No, I, I don't mean... Uh, the, I, I mean E3 as a whole. Oh, wait. Oh. We forgot Bandai Namco, uh, where they announced one That was just them presenting game. House of Ashes. Sure. New Dark Anthology collection. Yeah, like, I... I... I or, and okay. Nintendo's ten out of ten. Wait, here, 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 here. let's let's uh, how, let me let me rephrase uh, rephrase this. Uh okay. Rate the Nintendo Direct out of ten, and then rate E three overall out of ten. Overall, I'd say seven out of ten for all of E three. Every single conference had at least one game that I wanted, whether it was like an indie game or a triple A game. But uh, the indie games really showed up this year and i'm glad that they got their own conference and stuff like that it was really great to see a lot of them whether it be a platformer uh a tactics game uh first person shooter like indie game there there were a ton that showed up and there were some that were inspired by like smash tv and stuff like that even and it was really fun to see them and i think okay, see- and, then, and then your nintendo direct opinion Nintendo Direct easily a 9 out of 10. The only thing that made it falter a little bit is that they did spend a little bit of the conference showing us a ton of stuff that we already knew. Just Dance, Mario Golf, Mario and Rabbids, etc, etc. So there there was a little bit weighed in there, but most importantly, we got Advance Wars! Holy shit! Advance Wars! It's brick! Oh my god! God, it's a big and, force. Okay. And oh my God. Jesse and the orc star army. And I get to play as Nell. And I get to play as Andy. And I get to play as Max. And I get to play Sammy. And then the, and the black hole. And then you get the both of them. And then. There you go. And now it's like he doesn't exist. He's been server muted. And server deafened. He cannot hear us. Okay, Richard. What are your thoughts? Um, if we're going overall, um, I hadn't seen it at all in all, but from what I did see from each part, um, I give E3 overall 8 out of 10. Just because yeah. there's a little bit from here and there that I got to see. Um, it's nice to see some indies, um, that caught my attention was Dark Deity, which is a Fire Emblem based indies game. Oh, there's one indie that caught my eye that I forgot about. Well, there's two. There's one coming up to Kickstarter called Wishing Star. That is an RPG that is done in the style of like 90s Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon. And then one that is a rhythm RPG called Unbeatable that looked phenomenal. Okay, so um, Richard, what's since your, I haven't uh, seen uh, E3 and all, I'm leaving the door open a little bit with my rating. But what really tanked it for me is Bandai Namco is just, and here we present House of Ash. And I'm like, I know a couple friends who are going to be interested in that, but I was interested in like, what's new with the anime games or anything else in your productions? Like, yeah, yeah there was Rise rumor that out. there was going to be a My but, Hero Fighter done in the style of Fighter Z. You. Um, but for Nintendo, I'm also giving it a 9 out of 10 um, for the sole fact that I know me and a couple friends are waiting on Kirby Air Ride 2. That's a hopeless dream, never going to happen. Uh, <laughs> or at least no, something hey, hey, with hey, Kirby, Kirby or Kirby other Air franchises Ride that two. can keep continuing and building up upon. Kirby Air Ride dig- 2 is more of a possibility that I think it is as I grow in denial every year. That they will never make a Banjo Kazooie game ever. Again. Now, if I, I would say Korea Ride right away is more from Microsoft, than... it'd be the height, it'd be heightened unless Microsoft decides to do something with Banjo. Although every time I watch a Nintendo Direct, I now have to think of that Scott the Waz quote. He's like, "It's just a Nintendo Direct. You got to make sure that your uh, expectations are in check." That being said, and then it cuts to him like. Uh, live action. Chibi Robo Six is coming. <laughs> I, 
I, I'll tell you, you know, he made me sad because I want to play the Chibi Robo on the GameCube, but I'm pretty sure it's real expensive, and I don't know if I'm ever going to find it. Import the Japanese okay. version well, for the Wii. Well, okay, so I think for me, you see, E3, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, my, mine, mine's not going to be very good. E3 this year was probably like a five or a six for me, and Nintendo, the Nintendo's Direct was like a six or seven. Like, cause, cause the thing, like, it's okay. I'm gonna say seven. Metroid brought it up. Like, I'm gonna you know pick the highest because Metroid was like super hype. But I mean, it's cool having a new Warrior game. It's cool or WarioWare game. It's cool having like you know, bro. The, here's some cool Zelda stuff. Here's you know, new Mario Party. But like. The, the Metroid was like the the highlight, and everything else just was kind of like okay, but it's not anything that I'm like. I need this now. Yeah, I'm not like that either. So mine. I I agree. And, and E3. Okay, is, Mr. Jesse and the whole Advance War hype. Yeah, <laughs> need E3, that now. E3 E3 <laughs> didn't announce uh, once again. It's been like six or seven years since I've been like, since I started this whole E3 thing where it's like, new banjo game, new banjo game, new banjo game, and then nothing. Could be yeah. worse. Banjo, Booty, Nuts and Bolts, Rare Replay, which is not really new, just a collection. It's okay. Of you have banjo, banjo at others, home. But... It's called ukulele. It's been, it's been like, so long. It's been so long. Ban but ukulele is made by the banjo devs, so it's like the next best thing. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick, I'm quick trying to see. Uh, I'm gonna quick look. Um, also, if you uh, really want a good banjo style game, Hat in Time really is a really it's, good. It's been, it's been 13 years since the last banjo, new banjo Kazooie game. I mean, that's not really that bad in the whole grand scheme of things. At least I'm not an F-Zero fan, but... Um, or Golden Sun. Or Golden Knight. Oh, wait, no, they remade Golden Knight. So that's, that's They're making a new game. James Bond game this year. I think, I think that's enough E3 discussion. I think this has opened up possibilities, though. I think Richard and I need to, to have, like, a Metroid discussion. Uh, uh, I can to too. I I played a ton of them. Have you beaten any of them? And do you care? About I the beat lore? in. F do you care about the lore? I do care about the lore. Okay, and I've beaten. That. The... You're saying that because you don't want to. You don't want to be left out. You're. I've played a fair number of them. You're. You're feeling. I did like the scan functions in the you, prime about learning about the lore and all the different chosen feeling, artifacts. You're feeling FOMO. Really, of I should put Ratchet down and start oh. Prime Two. I really should just do that. I okay. We can also commentate over Ratchet because I have been playing the PS4 Ratchet because I got it for free. Uh, uh but um, I think also just like Richard needs a chance to gush about Zelda. I think that's also something we need to. We need. Oh, I can contain myself. I'm fine. You don't need me to outburst. Well, I mean, we need we need Richard. We need Richard gush. We need Richard things that he can gush about. But also, we need a Sonic one, so then I can gush my pants out about Sonic. And then we'll have a. Maybe we could have an Advance War one, except for it would be crickets. <laughs> it would be Jesse just talking into the void as we just. I like, wow. I like the tank. It's, it's the tank, guys. I mean. I I I, I wow. have nothing to contribute to Advance Wars. So, you if if I was there, it would be like you'd be just talking to a void because I would just be like. Now I will say, I was thinking of Advance Wars during this E3 when they were doing the virtual, the well, toy the, soldiers VR, and I'm like toy soldiers. Is this? I, I thought Advance Wars at first. Is this like realistic Advance Wars? Oh no, these are actually toys. Oh, it's toy soldiers. And then they get uh, give us advance wars and Nintendo. I'm like, 
I don't know if that satisfied. was a foresight, but okay. I was satisfied with the metal slug tactics, and I was satisfied oh, that with the Mario and Rabbids. Yeah, so I was already, like, really happy. Advance Wars was just the icing, the icing on the cake. But, yeah, overall, I'd say this was a fun E3. I would... The memes that came out of it, like, I love the one of... uh. Kazuya dropping Kirby off the cliff, then Kirby comes back, sucks him up, gets his hair, and then drops Kazuya <laughs> off the cliff. Hey, the, okay, I have one other thing I want to say, and then we, we got to end it, because I it's, it's almost like 2 o'clock, and I'm oh. sleepy. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, if they re, since they're remastering Advance Wars, I expect mm-hmm. Battalion Wars right around the corner. Get, if get on if it intro. sells well. Because Battalion Wars is better than Advance Wars. Battalion Wars remakes, please, Nintendo, do it. I want them. They were so good. Um, I think if so. this does well, I think Dual Strike will get one. Or maybe we will get a new Advance Wars entry. I think they are going to do everything they can to avoid Days of Ruin. I think they are not going to remake Days of Ruin. If anything, Dual Strike would get remade, or they will, you know, ignore. And that, that we will. I'm ending that Advanced Wars head talk because what am I just say? I don't know. Two a.m. Rambling. Yeah, it's two a.m. I'm tired. And I, I can't hear about the backstory of all these advanced wars games. I need to go to sleep. I worked eight. Uh, I worked eight. I was shifts. What? I think we lost him to the Wario. Yeah, we lost him to the Wario. Got the Wario game. persona. What? But thanks for listening, and we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna edit it, and yeah. Thanks, what? people, for listening. Bye. 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 Bye.